Yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy me Six Malik and in today's video we're gonna be telling you guys how you can downgrade your PS3 without the use of a E3 flasher. So it's a pretty simple method or simple easy thing to do. All you have to do is uh have a jail jailbreakable PS3. So first off, you wanna have a PS3 on the firmware 4.82, the brand new firmware. If it's not on that firmware, go ahead and upgrade to that firmware right now. Two, you will need a PS3 that can be downgraded to 3.55 or lower. I know I told you to upgrade, but make sure that you do uh, do that first because it is really important that you do and it's really needed. Uh, second thing you will need is a USB flash drive and a PC laptop computer. It doesn't really matter which one you use. Just make sure that you do have one of those to use for this uh, thing. So. First off, you want to go ahead and download the first uh, the first link in the description. Um, this will test to see if your PS3 can be downgraded below 3.55. If you know it can, go ahead and skip this step to like a few seconds or so, maybe a minute. I'm not really 100% sure, but go ahead and uh, skip if you already know that you can downgrade past 3.55. But if you do not know this, go ahead and download this uh, this firmware tester and put it in your USB flash drive in PS3 and inside PS3 make a folder called update and inside update go ahead and put that file in there alright so once you have the file copied over into your USB flash drive what you want to do next is go ahead and remove the flash drive, put it in your PS3. Once you're on the PS3, go ahead and choose uh, update and update via media storage device and test if your PS3 can be downgraded past 3.55. So as you see, mines can mines can be downgraded past 3.55, 2. Point that, uh, if it does if it says anything above 3.55 or 3.56 abort mission grab yourself another ps3 that will be able to downgrade past that so once you're done that go ahead back to the computer grab the second file the link will be in the description download that right now so in there go ahead and take the files that you just downloaded and put in, put it into a random folder it doesn't matter what folder you put it in, you're gonna, you, it's, it's pretty much useless, but the uh, folder that you want to uh, take is that hex folder right there. Put that folder in the root of your USB drive, and after that, open that folder, and that file right there, you want to copy and paste, do not cut and paste, but copy it and paste it in the root of your flash drive as well. Again, do not cut and paste, please do not. You will need this file and I'm just guessing why not have both of them to make sure that it works. So now what you want to do is remove the flash drive any way possible. I just take it out. You can safely remove it. Uh, there's a way. Uh, put, make sure that when you put this back into your PS3, put it in the USB port that's closest to the blu-ray drive where you put the disc in to make it just simple uh, do not put it all the way on the edge no no big no no so now you want to go ahead down and navigate to the the web browser yes you want to navigate to the web browser if it does not take you to a blank page what you want to do is go ahead and set your home page to a blank page this saves up memory for the uh, the export to search through so all you gotta do is set you know that close it out reopen it reopen the web browser and in the web browser you want to ta uh, type this link in readthetrainer.com forward slash ps3 forward slash i will have that somewhere on the screen for you guys to see once that is done bam you'll be greeted with this website right here 
all right so now that we are on the website right here all you have to do now is click on ps3 for xx nor nan writer make sure that you do click on that hit okay do not that that's all you gotta do is hit okay on this part right here uh you can read but it doesn't really matter all you gotta do is hit okay so up here you want to hit nor or nan if you're on a nan console uh the old fat consoles but mostly mostly you're going to be on a nor go ahead and hit on nor uh hit okay doesn't matter just read it if you want to again it doesn't matter so once you uh get this you want to navigate you can read this if you want it doesn't matter but once you do navigate uh down here to this button button right here and go ahead and push it and all you have to do now is wait uh, if it tells you to refresh the page go ahead and refresh but what you want to see is it say uh, su successful and your console will reboot or it will turn off yeah it will turn off um, don't panic don't worry just turn it back on but you have to wait until it turns off if it takes longer than 15 minutes go ahead open the browser back up or close it and open it back up and then go back through those steps and hit that button again but uh, what you want to do is go ahead and bookmark that page uh, because of that reason if it tells you to refresh and it doesn't work in like 15 minutes or so just do that but go ahead and wait for that success I'm gonna speed it up a little bit so you don't have to wait long see you later all right now here it is success do not close out your browser or anything you have to wait for the ps3 to turn off completely no matter what do not close this browser or you will risk breaking your ps3 and nobody wants a brick ps3 it is very bad very very bad so once your ps3 reboots or turns off you will notice because it will be uh three times it beat three times for me um, if it beat two times, I don't know if it beat one time. I, I just don't know uh, It beats three times for me for some reason. I've done this at least three times already On this console, but go ahead and turn the console back on and Next you want to go ahead and download the third file which is in the description the third file will be a uh, custom firmware and all you got to do is install the custom firmware and you're done uh yeah and you're done but that's basically that done right there and uh this is again a new way of you know downgrading your ps3 without the use of a e3 flasher and so it's i want i wouldn't say it's a lot safer i mean it is a lot safer but there is still a chance to fuck up your ps3 console but yeah um once you do have that, you can download custom, uh, you can download homebrew applications, you can download multi-man. Make sure that you do download uh, Toggle QA. I will leave a link for that in the description as well. Um, and multi-man, maybe. But if I don't, go ahead and look for multi-man. Toggle QA is needed uh, if you want to downgrade the PS3 to install a different custom firmware. Uh, notably the rebug firmware is very popular firmware most well pretty much everybody uses the firmware um if you need any more help with anything else go ahead and message me on instagram or on twitter either one i will reply to you asap and uh enjoy the rest of the video i'm me seeks malik make sure you hit that sub button like peace out